us. If you will, praise the Lord. Uh, we want to welcome you all for this uh, service of the Hymn Hour. Those who are uh, live on Facebook, those who are following us live on Facebook, you are welcome. Those of us who are gathered here, let us praise the Lord like we do not have another day to do so. Bwana Asifiwe, we clap our hands where we can be able to clap our hands. We sing with joy because the Lord dwells in the praises of his people. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we gather here so that, Lord, we may praise you, so that we may glorify your holy name, so that, Lord, we may acknowledge you as our King and our Lord. Lord, we pray that, Holy Spirit of God, you may help us to sing beautifully for you. For indeed, you said that if we do not sing for you, songs can sing for you. Lord, we pray that you may use our voices this evening to glorify yourself. Well, we welcome you, Holy Spirit of God, that you may lead us in all that we are going to do. We commit ourselves unto thee. We surrender ourselves to thy hands. We surrender our minds, our hearts, so that, Lord, we may be led of thee. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
thumb and once we are through we are going to sit down and continue singing come let us sing for joy to the lord let us shout aloud to the lord of our salvation let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song for the lord is the great god the great king above all gods in his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him the sea is his for he made it and his hands formed the dry land come let us bow down in worship let us kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture the flock under his care today if you hear his voice do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did that day at Massa in the desert, where your fathers tested and tried me, though they had seen what I did. For forty years, I was angry with that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they have not known my ways. So I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my less glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit it was in the beginning so it is now and forever shall be amen
just a minute, just close your eyes and bow your head before the presence of God. Meditate upon the words in that song that surely what a friend we have in Jesus. What a privilege it is to take everything to our God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. As you meditate upon those words, think about the faithfulness of God. Think about all the pain that you have been carrying because you do not want to release it to God in prayer. What a privilege it is to talk to our God. What a privilege it is that even though when we fall and when we fail and when we sin, that God still remains to be faithful and merciful unto us. Have an interaction with God this beautiful evening. He is our Father. He is our God. We have a mediator who is Jesus Christ. He is our friend. The word of God says that we have many brothers, but there is one who sticks close to us than a brother, and he is our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let every pain, let every burden roll away in the presence of God this evening. Everything that has been burdening you since Monday, since the beginning of this week, everything that has been a load on your back, let it roll away in the presence of God. He is our God. He is our Father. He is mindful of us. He has good plans for us to give us a future and a hope. That even though things may look that they are hopeless and there is no good thing that can come out of anything in our lives or even in the situation that surrounds us, that our God is the commander of our destinies. That our God holds our destinies in our hearts. Our names are engraven in His palms and He has good thoughts for us. Good thoughts of prospering us and not harming us in any kind of way. Let everything roll away in the presence of God. Let everything roll away in His presence. There's this song that is sung and say, Jesus, take the wheel, take it from my hands. Do not lead yourself. Do not trust in your power and in your strength. Moses cried down unto God and he told him, If you do not walk with us, we will be defeated. Because he knew and he understood that even with a great and a vast army, they could not stand against their enemies. Even us, we cannot stand against the devil and the evil of this world on our own and on our own strength. But by the power of the Most High God, we'll be more than conquerors. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are in your presence this evening, O God. We honor you because your God your name is Yahweh. You are the one who was, you are the one who is, and you are the God who is still to come. Our God and our Father, you say in your word that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your world shall remain. You will never change, you will remain to be God. Faithful you are, great you are, holy you are, O oh God. You are mindful of us. You are merciful unto us, Jehovah. Because if it weren't for your masses, oh God, where could we be this evening, Jehovah? Our deeds, our efforts, our righteousness before you, oh God, are nothing. It is by the righteousness and the justification of Christ that we are worthy and acceptable before you. Before your presence, we recognize that we are sinners. Because we fall and fail on so many occasions, Jehovah, and we do not deserve anything good from you. But because your nature is to have mercy, your nature is to love, your nature is to be kind, your nature is to forgive and to forget Jehovah. Forgive us of all our sins and all our failures. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse every sin, every stain and every dark blood, O oh God. And our garments are made as white as snow, Jehovah. We do not trust in our deeds or in our works but we trust in the righteousness of Christ. Equip us and strengthen us, O God. Lead us by your Spirit that in everything that we do from now henceforth, O God, it may be for the glory and the honor of your name. 
our Father, our church, oh God is before you. The congregation of the Cathedral, Jehovah, the entire diocese, King of all glory, our Bishop, Jehovah, all the clergy, our God and our Father serving this great cathedral and the great, our Father, diocese, oh God. Even the lay readers and the evangelist, Jehovah, every person serving the church, they are all before you. As they lead your flock, they need your grace, they need your strength, oh God. That when the Christians come to church, they may live nourished, encouraged, oh God, and elevated Father. All for your glory. We are weak, but you are strong. Strengthen us, Jehovah. In our families, we need you. In our businesses, we need you. In our finances, we need you. Even as our children wait to see for the examinations, Father, we need you. They are coming from a difficult season, Father, of being at home, oh God. Many of them are not even standing, Jehovah. But we are trusting in you that you're going to make them remember everything that they have learned. That we are going to declare, oh God, that the exams and the tests they're going to sit for, they are going to favor them, Jehovah. And my God, they shall pass. Because you're able. Our lives, our families, our destinies, they are all in your hands. For this is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Let us appreciate our God. Uh, on behalf of the entire pastoral team, led by our provost, we thank God because of this time where we're here still singing unto God. And uh, we're still in the Lent season, and we're still studying the book of Romans. And I think by the time we finish this book, as uh, our Lerida Teresia was saying the other day, we will have known and understood the book of Romans uh, from the first chapter to the last. And today we are starting from the book of, uh, from the chapter 8, from verses 28 all the way down to the end. So at your own time, I urge you, study verse 28 of uh, Romans chapter 8 till the end. But allow me to just read a few verses. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For, who, for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say? In response to this, if God is for us, who can, who can be against us? I know there is a verse that we always quote that if God be for us, who and what can stand against us? And that is my message tonight. That if God be for us, is there anything that can stand against us? It's not the law. It's not sin. It's not our failures. It's not the struggles of this world. Nothing can stand against us. I was teaching catechism an hour, about uh, an hour and a half ago. And today we were dealing with the Ten Commandments. And there is uh, this, this, this about, uh, the law about you should not murder or you should not kill. And I remember when Jesus Christ was brought to, unto him, the adulterous woman, a woman who was caught in the act committing adultery. And the people brought this woman unto him and they were testing him because they knew what the law stated about such an offense or breaking that such a law. And it was so ironic that this woman was committing adultery, but yet only the woman was brought. And we tend to ask ourselves, where was the man that was committing adultery with this woman? But Jesus Christ in his own wisdom he bent down and started writing on the ground. And there's this man I love so much. He's called Steve Fatik. And he was wondering, what was Jesus Christ writing, writing on the ground? And he believed that, God, that Jesus was writing the word grace. Because grace is what saved that woman. And he was very quick and he told all the other people that if you are without sin, be the first person to cast the stone. That Jesus Christ knew what the law stated but because of the wisdom, the power, and the authority that he had, and because he was sent to justify us, and he was sent here to become the law, this woman was saved. And she was told, go and see no more. For Jesus Christ did not condemn her. Therefore, if God be for us, 
there is absolutely nothing that can ever stand against us. We are more than conquerors because of who lives in us. The word of God has told us that who God foreknew, he predestined. And what the, what the word predestined is, is even before we were, even before we came, that God already predestined us. God predestined our destinies. God was not caught by COVID, by COVID by surprise, that he knew this. He allowed it to happen because he knew that at the end of the tunnel, there is light for us. That at the end of the tunnel, there is a way for us. That we are sometimes struck down, we are sometimes oppressed, we are sometimes pushed to the corner, but God never leaves us without a way out. If God be for us, what can stand against us? In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.
before we sing the next hymn, we are going to pray for the offertory. Then after singing, we will welcome our canon to give us the word of, uh, to bless us. And then we will be winding up our lesson. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, because you've been so, so faithful unto us, giving us everything that we need in our life. Though, Lord, we have needs that we can bring to you this evening, we have not lacked food, we have not lacked water, we have not lacked clothing, and so we are here to thank you. And so, Lord, we have brought this suffering before thee. Lord, we pray that you may accept it and uh, bless your people this evening. For this is our prayer of faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Kuchukuru Takapo tupea nafasi ingine siku ya ijuma Kujabele zako na kukuabudu mfalme Na kutumia vinywa vietu mfalme kama chombo cha kutumika kwa kwewe mungu mwema Tutakushukuru na tutarinua jina lako Sasa nyote wapendu wa mwenyezi mungu Na wakabidhi kwenye mikono ya mwenyezi mungu ili ya waongoze Awape neema 
awafariji awaponye awape furaha katika maisha yenu nayo na neema na utukufu wa Mungu uandamane nanyi na mwitwe wabarikiwa wake katika jina la Mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Bwana akae nanyi. Wapendwa tuenendi katika Bwana, tukampendeze na kumuishia katika maisha yetu nayo neema ya Mungu ikiwa juu ya maisha yetu. Tukutane papa hapa siku ya Ijumaa. Tukizidi kueneza ujumbe wa neema na baraka zake katika matendo yetu. Ningependa kuwashukuru nyote ambao mmepata nafasi ya kuja. Huu ni upendo uleo mkuu aje Bwana watende mema asanteni sana wanakwaya asanteni sana vijana wetu Gideoni Edu my son thank you very much thank you kiongozi wetu thank you the leader wetu mhubiri wetu Bwana wabariki nyote muongozwe na neema za Mwenyezi Mungu. Asanteni sana. Wimbo wa kutoka. Mm -hmm.